Baby, come here. Let's Let's unbox two brand new Castile rapiers. Let's do it. Where are we starting? Um, I see some tape here. One's pretty loose, I guess. This one's pretty tight. Oh, these feel nice. Almost stabbed your eye. I know. Jeez. <laughs> cool. So. Oh, the point of balance is like in the hilt. That's so cool. I, I can't got a Pappenheimer here, symmetrical with a straight cross guard. Do you remember? I think this was oak. And then whatever this pommel shape is. Cool. Oink. Oh my god. Yeah, the balance feels really nice. Yeah, it's like in your hand. Um, when I uh, when I picked up the box, I was like, "Ooh, this is really light. It's almost lighter <laughs> than like one of this, for instance." Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a dark wood, but this is a really beefy blade. Um, a little bit shorter, obviously. So yeah, it's a good comparison. Yeah, and I have the single pierced port swept on the left. It's very much a right-handed sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that so? What's that categorized as? Also a Pappenheimer or not? No, this is close port and close then port? Swept, uh, swept hilt. All right, cool. Looks and then you had uh, oh, what's your finish? Yeah, you got some rust. rust on there. Easy to deal. Because I thought you had the dark finish. Or do we have the same? No, we, we both just did the, the same okay. non-polished regular finish. Yeah, uh, it's actually a lot nicer because I think I changed my mind after we put in the order um, that I wanted a bright polish. Mm -hmm. Um, but now, no, I don't like the bright polish. It takes like all the damage looks like you've ruined it. <laughs> yeah, At least yeah. when this gets scratched up, it just looks like it's Makes like, it, look, it has a life. Yeah. It doesn't look chromey. Yeah. Cool. So there's of, like a, there's a, lot of red. a washer down here. I think this is all screw on, right? Yep. Are we going to unscrew shit? Yeah, let's see. I wonder if this is interchangeable with the dark wood stuff. I don't know. And with the, um, the small swords that we have from the same maker. So this is Castile. Ooh, this is, uh, hmm? The handle's on there twice. Tight? No, I don't want to, yeah, like, I don't want to rip it. it off too much. So yeah. Screw it back on. Screw it. I still don't know if I prefer screw on to peen. Because like, I, mean, I don't like when it loosens while you're fencing, yeah. but it's nice that if it does loosen, you can just tighten it back. But like, I peen, think... once it loosens, you're screwed. Yeah. You gotta like, re-peen it. Yeah, exactly. Um... I think I prefer peened, um, obviously if it's well done, mm -hmm. but this gives you options, right? Like it allows you to uh, interchange parts of it, um, but honestly, I'm super happy with this. Yeah. And I didn't even realize that, obviously. Yeah, yours is nice, you can switch hands, it's, yeah, not, switch a big, hands. it's not a big deal. Because uh, lefties confuse people, so yeah, I can't. not that I'm any good at a left. But yeah, fighting left just confuses cool. me. The welds on this are like really nice. <laughs> it actually looks like it's just well done. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you can see the different, the loose, the separate parts. I don't know if that shows up. 
um, the welds are here of like this side. So is this welded or not, or is this one piece? That looks welded because well. it's yeah, yeah, it's really well. It's all really really nicely done. Um, so I think did we get this? No, we did not get the same blade. Mine has a fuller. Yeah, you got the more expensive fuller one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know if you can see you the fuller running in it, so it takes a little bit of weight out. And I think I got a little bit of a longer blade as you as well, um, because obviously you definitely needed I the reach need more reach. So here, yeah. So I got I got maybe a couple of inches over there. Cool. Oh, we got matching pommels. Yeah. Yeah, I always like a pommel that rests the palm of my hand um, to give me a little bit more. Is your hand that far back on the sword? Yeah. Like if I have my if I have my index here. It goes oh, all the way I guess back. it's different because like my index is all the way up by the So port. that's why I generally don't like wheel pommel or anything like that. Anything that digs into the palm of my hand. Cool. I love I love the pattern. Like if you can see it. It's kind of it's floral, gorgeous. curly. It's beautiful. Um, really nice too. It's like um, tapered in here, um, like kind of like a tip but it's smooth. I've noticed with some other swords where this gets kind of sharp. The dark wood has destroyed my gloves Yeah, because it's pointed. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna shit on dark wood because we <laughs> love dark woods as well, but this is like kind of sharp. And if you're, um, if you're fingering it really, really good, then uh, it definitely like wrecks your gloves. Yeah. I think you had to pay extra for that, that like uh, yeah. part of the guard, right? Because yeah. mine's just a flat. That was the, 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 the basic version. One of the choices. Nice, and this is a flat spatulated tip, mm -hmm. but yeah, obviously um, we ordered separate blunts with it as well, um, always for safe sparring. I might leave it off because um, I might do some target practice. It's always nice to have like a smaller, ooh, look at that flex. It'd be sad if it's set, but not that. <laughs> That's perfect. Cool. Let's, let's clang them, see how they sound. They sound like rapiers, like they're not meant to be clanged. No, but it's still there. They're meant a, to gently caress each other. There's a nice reverb. Yeah. yeah. Well, just, should we do this for the rest of the video? Just <laughs> play with our tips? <laughs> cool. I have a lot of space even here to potentially have like the finger uh, on the blade. It was for Spanish. Like, yeah. For some uh, destreza. Cool. Okay, all in all, I think... Very happy. Very happy with how this came out. The, yeah, they're the, just gorgeous. The wood uh, handle feels really nice. Uh, it's a nice shape. I have kind of big hands. Um, so I've noticed with the small swords, for instance, it's very, very tiny. Um, the same with one of the, uh, the, the Hanwei arming sword. It's a very, very thin grip, but this is very comfortable in my hand, especially with a glove around this. Um, it'll be a, it'll be a nice good grip. And they definitely gave more than enough space with the giant finger loops. Yeah, exactly. Like the finger rings. Yeah, this is like nice point and control. Mm -hmm. Like they've been. Um, yeah, cool. Let's, uh, let's go stab each other. Yeah, let's go. Let's go stab each other. Cool. Salute. <laughs>